I'm about to be very vulnerable with you guys, so please bear with me. And if you're out there going through a similar experience, I just want to let you know that you're not alone. And welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. Please don't make it your last. And if you're returning, what's up people? So today is Saturday and it's really snowing pretty bad outside and I'm so glad that I'm at home. Anyway, today I decided to try something new. Um, I'm going to be telling you guys about some of my highs and lows of the week and you guys can feel free to share some of yours with me in the comments section so for my highs um i just completed week three of chloe ting's 2022 weight loss challenge and i'm really proud of myself for being consistent with that um also i got to celebrate uh, the birthdays of two important people in my life this week and that was pretty nice and i'm um, spending time with my college friend on Sunday was also a big high life for me it was also a big high for me sorry um, now next to my lows I think I just have about one which is that um, I had these where I was sad this week and um, I guess it was probably because one of the important people's birthday that I celebrated was my brother and he lives so far away from me that we haven't been able to see each other in about three years and I kind of felt you know sad about that but I don't know but yeah, I was sad for a little part of the week, but um, it got better. And um, yeah, that's all my highs and lows for the week. You guys can feel free, like I said, to share yours with me in the comment section. So let's get right to why we're all here, which is how to navigate life after college. Especially for people who move to like a new environment, I think this video will be very helpful for you, but it'll also be helpful for people who stay back in their home city or hometown or around where they went to school. So um, I'm gonna start with a little background just so you guys have an idea of where I'm coming from. Um, I went to a small school in Ohio in a small town called Ada. Um, it was about what 5,000 people in total in the town, if I'm not mistaken. And so I had such a close um, or small environment and had such like tight relationship with a lot of people in the town. Um, in my town, where I went to school, sorry, um, there was literally about four restaurants. So we had two Chinese places, we had an Italian place and a Mexican place. There were a bunch of places where you could get pizza, about three of them. And then there was a McDonald's, there was a Taco Bell, and a Subway. Um, we also had a Rite Aid there, which things were quite expensive. But if you wanted to get more stuff, so going to like a Walmart or like a mall, the nearest one was like, what, 20, 25 minutes away from us. So kind of gives you like a little bit of idea of where I'm coming from. My friends and I created a world of our own where we literally hung out every weekend, if not every day. We saw each other every day. But we like hung out, hung out every weekend. I'm talking Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, either like just eating together, we'd make foods together, or like we'd just play games together, or we'd just be watching movies or just chatting or drinking or, you know, just doing one thing or the other. Sometimes we just hung out to do homework together. So like we literally saw each other every single weekend, which was good. And I was in college for six years. So you can imagine how much memories I had created or how much memories I had accumulated in six years. I knew I was gonna miss my friends. I knew I was gonna miss the environment, but I didn't think it was gonna be that big of a deal. I didn't think it was gonna be like that serious. I didn't know how huge of an impact it was going to be on me. When I graduated from college, I thought, you know, it was gonna be straightforward. So get a job, um, get an apartment, start making money that's kind of like the idea I had and for me leaving college because I went to pharmacy school I already had a job offer um, before graduation and so I had a job offer so for me I thought it was just gonna be you know let's go get a place and then start making money and living a good life you know and traveling and doing all these good things that we see people doing after you know graduating from school I never thought about the bumps or hurdles that I was gonna experience or even how it was gonna affect my mental health I mean I knew that I was going to miss my friend because I moved to another state, but I didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal. I mean, I thought we were just going to like, you know, call ourselves every day or maybe once a week or something like that, but I didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal. Anyways, 
I'm going to be telling you guys some things that I wish I knew was gonna happen upon leaving college, upon graduating, just so you guys have an idea of those type of things. And um, if you guys see me looking down from time to time, that's because I have my iPad right here and I have like points written down on it and whatnot so I don't forget anything. Um, point number one, it's not going to be a smooth transition. It's definitely never going to be a smooth, you know, shift from college life to work life so just have that at the back of your mind that if you were thinking like i was get a job get a place start making money and life's going to be good it's not going to be that way for some people they're going to find it harder to find the job it's going to take them a little longer for others it might be harder to even find a place and for some it might be like a mixture of both you know tip number two budgets in Oh my gosh, you guys. So in Ada, where I went to school, things were relatively cheap. Um, my rent at the time was $600 and there was three of us in that apartment. It was a three bedroom. So we paid $200 each, including like utilities. So let's say in a month we spent about $350 on like the house and like utilities and everything. So you can imagine going from that to like moving here to Pennsylvania and like rent is like 1500. That's a big shift. I bought my mattress in Box Spring in college for about seventy dollars, <laughs> just really really cheap. And coming here, and it's like for you to find a good bed set, probably spend about a thousand dollars or oh maybe less, maybe more, depending on the quality that you want. So you can imagine, like I wish I knew how to you know budget. I mean, I knew that you know save money here and there. We needed to save. So I was saving money in college, yes, but I wasn't budgeting wisely i wasn't you know trying to put things into like okay this is more important than this and all of that uh number three i wish i knew that you just need to start small you know so if you get a place don't feel like you have to buy all the things that you need at once don't feel like you have to change your wardrobe all at once take your time so prioritize what's important to you so you know get in a place your mattress is you know top priority i mean you're not going to be sleeping on the floor you know so your mattress is top priority so prioritize things in buying you're not going to buy everything in one day and that's okay that's very okay in college i wasn't really thinking that way i mean when i moved to my apartment off campus i literally bought everything that i needed for that apartment at once because mainly because it was cheaper for me then so i didn't think about that coming here i wanted to change my wardrobe and i was like okay we're just gonna go to the mall today and we're gonna buy all new shoes and we're gonna buy all new clothes it's not gonna work that way because if you keep doing it that way you're going to go super broke and probably not be able to keep up with like your rent and important bills so i would say definitely prioritize the next tip <laughs> should i say it, guys mm. post-graduation depression is real you guys let me let me put this down first post-graduation depression it's a thing and it's really real out here so i looked looked up what it means and it's just basically extreme sadness and impaired functioning that recent graduates report after they leave behind the world they created in college and it's especially worse for people who move to a new environment it feels like you're starting your life all over again like I said, you know, you had a whole good life going on for you. Like for me, I had, what, six years of good memories, close-knitted friends. I could see them whenever I wanted to see them. We could literally walk to the restaurant, you know, to go get food. We could walk to classes. We could walk wherever we wanted to go to, even when it was snowing. And that was different. Even though you have a job, you have coworkers, it's still not the same kind of relationship that you had back then. Next tip, effort 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 you have to put effort into things that you do and um be intentional so you have to put effort into things that you do and be intentional whether it's your looks you know it's what you eat it's where you go it's how you dress things like that you have to be intentional in college i could literally wear whatever if i was late to class i'll just wake up throw on any sweatpants that i saw in there and any shirt that i saw there and just like went on with my day but now you can't do that i'm not saying you cannot you can but it just doesn't show that you're a put together person now you have to be more intentional with your dressing so if you're going out dress according to where you're going so if you're going to brunch with friends look appropriate 
once in a while you could put on makeup you could not i don't wear makeup every day to work so it differs for everyone if you love to look like all glammed up and i'll definitely do that i didn't grow up doing that so that's just not a habit of mine but i try to put effort into my looks please don't wear bonnets and all this type of things to go out even if you're going shopping just still look good still look decent um don't neglect yourself um so throwing yourself into work and avoiding you know social life which i try to do isn't really the way to go about things because at the end of the day you're gonna get burnt out and you're going to start to feel that loneliness you know coming back lastly um another thing sorry your friendships are going to change whether you like it or not your friendships are going to definitely change unless you probably moved with some friends in college and you guys live together then i mean you have it all rosy but if not your friendships are going to change it's not going to be what it used to be where um you could just wake up i would just wake up in college and like if i don't feel like staying at home i'll just walk to my friend's apartment and be like i'm here what are we doing and then we'll just hang out but now you actually have to send them a message or call them or you know text and schedule a time to meet up schedule like now you actually have to schedule a hangout you can't imagine what that is it's not going to be the same you're not going to be seeing them whenever you can you actually have to arrange time because it has to work with everyone's schedule everyone's work schedule and whatnot so now you have to like plan hangouts and be serious about it and lastly you can't just take a break whenever you want to you cannot just take a break whenever you want to i remember in school if i wasn't feeling too good in the morning i'll just be like nah i'll skip the class i'll get notes from my friends and will be okay you know but now you cannot just wake up and say i don't feel good i'm not going to go to work you can't do that it doesn't work that way so you have to be actually serious about it you cannot just because if you keep doing that you're going to run out of like sick days or ptos and your employer is going to start doubting why they hired you and you don't want that to be a problem especially when you're a new hire at a place so um, yeah, those are some things that I wish that I knew. If you have anything else that you wish you knew before graduating that was going to happen to you after graduation, feel free to leave them in the comments and, you know, let's just chat. Um, next, I'm going to give you some tips that I feel like have been helpful for me so far and are still helping me till this point. And I, you could just try it out and let me know how it goes. Um, tip number one, take it one step at a time, one day at a time. Like I said... It's not going to be a smooth transition, but take it one day at a time. It's going to get better. It's definitely going to get better. I remember fresh out of um, college in June, <sighs> rough month, but taking it one day at a time, you know, wake up today and say, today's Monday. Okay, let's see what Monday has to offer. Today's Tuesday. Let's see what Tuesday has to offer. That way you don't put so much pressure on yourself and things go smoother for you. Um, number two. Don't be in control of everything. Don't try to be in control of everything. I sort of am a control freak, and so I like to be in control of everything that happens in my life. And out of college, it's not gonna be that way. So be open to change, be flexible. Anything could come up, so be willing to have, like, adjust. Be ready to adjust to new changes, new things, new experiences. Don't always be rigid with your um, plan. Uh, next, plan, make plans but leave room for um, mistakes or hiccups. So in college, you have a structure. You have to take this number of classes to move to the next you know, year or to graduate. You need to take this number of courses and you need to take this and that and do this and that. That gave you a structure. You knew what you had to do. But now after graduation, as you're working, you don't really have a structure per se. So you kind of just wake up and you know that you have to go to work, but you have to be deliberate so plan your life out map out a structure for yourself week after week and leave room for if anything comes up then we could switch don't be too strict with your plannings because you're gonna make mistakes that's bound to happen you cannot avoid it you're definitely gonna make a lot of mistakes along the way and don't beat yourself up if you make a mistake just learn from that mistake and keep it pushing the next tip the friends you made in college are going to be your support system and your family as well. You know, you're, they're really going to be your support system. So keep in touch with them. You know, as easy as it is to say, oh, I'm busy with work. Oh, this got in the way. 
you're never too busy to talk to a friend you're never too busy that's what i tell myself you're never too busy to say hi to a friend every now and then it may not be an everyday thing but in a week try to keep in touch with your friends from college because nine out of ten times they're going to be going through the same things that you are going through and you guys just sharing your problems would help you understand or make you feel better that you know what I'm not the only one going through this she's also going through it he's also going through it and so we're all in this together you feel better you know you guys could put heads together and look up solutions look up things that you could do to boost yourself up next thing um whenever you're feeling down like i said post-graduation depression is a thing so whenever you feel like you're getting into that point where you don't want to do anything you don't want to talk to anybody don't get yourself um soaked up in that feeling try to talk to people go out even if it just means putting an outfit slapping on some makeup and you could go to the mall window shop go to like a coffee shop do something talk to people don't stay in that emotion because it could linger on and make you feel worse over time next um find a hobby definitely definitely find a hobby for me working out became a hobby <laughs> definitely find a hobby find something that would help you in those days that you feel down another thing that i love to do now is going to coffee shops if i'm not going to work and if it wasn't snowing outside i'd probably be in like a nice coffee shop even if i'm not doing anything i might just be there watching a movie or drinking some coffee you're outside that prevents you from lingering or sticking in that depressed moment so it's going to be very important very helpful especially when you're feeling down next thing think about yourself do something nice for yourself every now and then don't get in the habit of throwing yourself into work and neglecting yourself self-care is important whatever it is you do that helps you just take care of yourself every once in a while do that your mental health take care of that as well go out if in a week you know you did good at work take yourself out go out eat something nice buy yourself ice cream buy yourself a new outfit get a new perfume a new shoe whatever it is but don't neglect yourself last but not least it's like the most important thing if you didn't get anything else that i said your mental health is so important guys whatever you do do not neglect your mental health if you feel like you're getting to a point where you can't take it anymore talk to a therapist I know I needed one at some point right after graduation and it's okay your mental health is very very important because if you feel down you're not gonna function properly so don't neglect your mental health for any reason whatsoever that's all I have for you guys thanks for sticking around thanks for watching this video please if you have any comments or if you want to share any like your experience so far from graduation if it's no matter how far back you graduated, if you have any experience or any tips that you feel like would be beneficial for people, please feel free to leave a comment down below and, you know, let's chat. So a couple things, don't forget to like this video, please share the video and subscribe. Please, please, please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. For now, this is going to be it. Bye, loves.